Craig here and I'm creating a quick video to show you how you can install a database backup. Now a friend had actually asked me to create this video because I guess they need to reinstall a database backup of their website. Now what we have here is a website I built for a friend who runs a local moving company and I'm going to use their website as an example. Now I do recommend that you always create backups of your WordPress website or any websites for that matter of fact. And the plugin that I normally use is called WordPress for Google Drive. Now you can configure this plugin to backup everything, you know, all of the core files and the database, put it in a zip file and automatically upload it to your Google Drive account. Now I will put a link in the video description and an annotation on this video. If you want to check out that plugin, go ahead. But what I want to talk about in this video is how to install a database backup. I'm going to quickly show you how you can create one and have one automatically emailed to you. And that's using another plugin called WordPress Database Backup. Now once you install it under Tools, you'll have a new button called Backup. And here we can set it up so that by default it always backs up all of the default tables in the database. But I have some additional tables here for my legal pages, etc. And I want to make sure that they get backed up. Now, if we want to create a backup right now, we can click there and it'll back it up right now or email it to us or save it to the local server. You can also schedule it to go, you know, once an hour, twice daily, etc. If you're only adding content once a week, then you really only need to back it up weekly. But perhaps you're a huge website with lots of different authors. And if that's the case, you know, make sure you're backing up at least daily so you don't lose any content should something go wrong. When you schedule it or you create one and have it emailed to you, it generally looks like this. You'll get an email and it has an attachment with your blog database. In the file name of this attachment, it says WRDP1. Now that is my database name. Now that's important because you can't go and import a database if you don't know where you have to go and import it because for example on my HostGator hosting I have several different WordPress blogs and they all use databases so I need to make sure that I'm going to import it into the right database so I have my database here and I've downloaded it to my computer and now what I need to do is go and reinstall it so what I'd have to do is connect to my HostGator hosting and I'm going to come down to PHP my admin. I'm going to click on it once and it's going to open up and I'm going to quickly jump back to my email and what I have to find is my database called WRDP1 because on the left here are all of my different databases and as you can see there's no wonder I have to find it because I have so many in here so here is WRDP1 and if I wasn't sure, you know, if it was a correct one, all you have to do is go and browse WP options, or you can click here and it will open up that table. And right there, it's going to give you the URL, the site URL. And this is the blog, which I'm going to be reinstalling. So what I'm going to do is hit the back button and come back to this page. Now, a reason why you may need to reinstall a database is perhaps your website got hacked and you know you're it's no longer working or perhaps you installed a plugin which caused a conflict and some plugins actually create uh, database tables and insert code into your database and the easiest way to fix the problem if it occurs is to reinstall your database so for starters let's just go and delete one of our tables so we're going to click drop and OK and now when we go and refresh our home page, you'll see uh, error establishing database connection. So that means we need to fix a problem. And the easiest way to fix it is to reinstall the database. If this is what's happened to you, the first step you have to do is delete all of the tables. So we're going to click check all. And from the drop down menu, we are going to select drop. And we are going to confirm it and press yes. And basically, we've just wiped out the entire database. So our next step is to import. And we're going to choose file. 
and you're going to have to locate where you downloaded your database to. We're going to select it and press open and then we're going to scroll down and press go and this is now going to upload it and it's already finished. Let's just go and refresh our page. And there we are, the database has been reinstalled. Now if for some reason you do not have access to the PHP My Admin, there is a plugin which is called Portable PHP My Admin that you can install and in most cases it will allow you to access PHP My Admin from inside your blog admin area. So I hope this video helps. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated. Now on a final note, I've set up a community on Google Plus where I share all of my WordPress related tutorials and I encourage other members to share their tutorials. There's also a section where you can request support and help. Perhaps you want to know how to customize a WordPress theme or do something you're not sure how to. Well, you're more than welcome to come over there and, you know, post some details on what you're trying to achieve. And I'm sure myself or another member will gladly help you out. Other than that, have a great day.